Hey guys, welcome to Journey with Curity and today we are talking about the lock journey. I am 13 months in. Let's chat about that. So it's been roughly about a month since I did my one year lock anniversary update. So if you haven't checked that out yet, please do check that out. Um, I give a progress from the very beginning right up to a year so you can see the dramatic difference of where I started to where I was at a year. So it's been a couple of months since I last colored my hair and we can see the amount of growth. Let me scooch up the amount of growth. By the black section of my luck. And just as an update for those who are watching this for the first time, um, when I started my locks, I had shaved sides. So I didn't have any hair at the sides, but I locked um, this, I had hair, <laughs> this section, and that is what I locked. So this section of my lock is um, months mature in comparison to these sections. These were done as my hair grew out. And so they're at different stages in um, the lock journey. So this section here is, this whole section going back, is uh, pretty much locked. And what they're doing now is just maturing. They're just uh, plumping up a bit more. You can see that along the strands, let me see if I can get, get you some close up. The ends are closed as well. And so you can see the difference in maturity as they start to fluff up. Um, they are um, less frizzy than the sections that are more new or less mature. The ends are still very loose. They have not locked up as yet and we can definitely see that there is um, bunching along the locks so that's starting to happen but they are not as thick as um, the other sections that are more mature what is happening as well is that around my perimeter from the very beginning up until now, they they still continue to, to slip, um, less slip now than before, but we still have sections along my perimeter. So let me get it close. So you can see some sections that I'm going to have to reinstall. And that's fine because um, that's just a few along the perimeter. Um, what else has been happening with my hair okay so again for the more mature locks there's less that i have to do and i can easily go about six weeks um at least six weeks without having to do a retie and there would be no problem with the locks marrying at the root in comparison to the less mature ones i find that if i don't um let me just back up a little bit give you some space I find that if um, I go more than a month the roots start to marry start to interlock with each other like here the roots are like some of the strands intermingle and lock together can you so and Y'all know the usual with this Caribbean heat, okay? So, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I also find that that happens a lot more at the back of the fresh sections when my hair is a lot more curly. So let me see if I can show you. This is happening. That normally happens when uh, some of the loose strands, as your hair starts to have new growth, um, some of the loose strands from one lock try to intermingle with the loose strands from another lock and if you stay too long before you separate and interlock them then it becomes a lot more tangled and a lot harder to extricate without damaging the lock and so um i need to do a retie pretty soon 
So let me just give you a 360 so you can see what I am working with. And this section is the section we've been monitoring to see if um, there's any improvement in terms of um, it thickening up and the hair growing in. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my lock update at 13 months in my lock journey DIY micro locks. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next leg of the journey.